My name is Craig, I'm 24 from Dublin and I'm a blue white belt in Jiu Jitsu. I've spied him yesterday and hydrocephalus, which basically means my right leg doesn't work and I have flu on my breath. About four years ago, I'd say, just after his Max Spirits fight, he was in McDonald's getting a coffee. And I looked up at my friend and said, I'll ask for a photo. And he came over to me and got the photo with me, rather than make an awkward ask. So after that, and then he talked to me and asked me to ever do martial arts. Yeah. And I said, no, I can't do in a wheelchair. And he looked at me and said, so what? Why can't you do it? So that kind of made me want to do it. The fact that he looked past me this building and I couldn't at the time. But yeah, like whenever he walks by, if I'm working or out, he'll check me out and say, well done, then keep going. So he's always around to give a, a like that video was nothing new to me, it was he's always around. It was just so it was nice enough to catch it on video for me. Yeah. Were you surprised by the reaction to the video at all? Yeah, very, very surprised. 14 and a half thousand like views in about half an hour or so. Right. I didn't think it'd get that big a reaction. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. And then, then he followed me on Instagram and I not believe that either. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yeah, come on. My name's Julian Dolby and I'm team doctor for Team Conor McGregor. Right, and uh, what do your responsibilities include with the McGregor Fast program, for example? I'm responsible for the conditioning of Connor and also his general health and well-being, his general maintenance, basically. Craig has spina bifida, and this is a, a medical condition that he was born with. So this is where the vertebrae, which normally form a tube around the spinal cord, don't form fully. So that leaves the spinal cord exposed and the nerves coming off it. So the nerves supplying Craig's right leg don't have full innervation. So this means he doesn't have proper coordination and he doesn't have full power going to the right leg. So doing a five kilometer walk is quite an ordeal um, with this condition. Okay. Channels, rotate maybe the other way around. Oh, sorry. Watts, let's go on the watts, okay. Just try and keep it with the watts, let's go. Craig has a, a good diet and a healthy lifestyle, so that's a, a great starting point. So what we plan on doing is using what he already has and optimizing that, getting his heart, lungs and cardiovascular system in the best possible condition so that he can maximize his chances of being able to complete this five kilometer walk. The fast conditioning program was originally developed for elite athletes like Connor. Um, it was developed by exercise physiologists and uh, a team of uh, world experts in strength and conditioning. But it's also great to see it being used by somebody like Craig. So we've had to modify it a little to work around all his strong points and make it easier on the, the, the parts where he's not quite as strong. Do you ever use the pace boat? And yeah, that's what Connor thought it does. It? Yeah. It's just easier. Anytime I walk into a new place, they'd just be straight away looking at my leg. Yeah. But when I came here, everybody was looking at my face, not my leg. And that's why this, I found this as home. So if you were to give a word of advice to anyone watching at home, who's half thinking coming in, Get up off the chair and go to your nearest gym, preferably SPG. Yeah, same with myself, I put them obstacles up because one gym refused me. I didn't go looking and then when I finally got annoyed, I text John, I wasn't in the morning so I'm sure he wasn't happy about it. But uh, then he told me to come down the next day and then I met and then he, him, Connor, everybody has saved my life that's in this gym. Why did you pick that as a, as a challenge for yourself? Because mental health is very close to my heart, especially around the gym, a lot of people suffer from mental health and I want to do the walk without the aid of my wheelchair, which I'm in 60% of the time, so I've set that challenge. I'm not gonna walk it and not use the wheelchair at all. Um, and John, for, the, for the people who don't know, how long is the walk? In the it's a 5K walk, and John Cameron's gonna be doing with me. He's the one that proposed this challenge to me, so I want to uh, do it.